and then maybe fly back here. That sounds crazy, because what if someone loses their FMM while they're out in the water doing their shit, right? Come on, they're not gonna make you fly all the way back, but let's, let's hope. Uh, we are in La Paz, Mexico, and today the mission is to get an FMM card. So when I entered into Mexico, you need to get a tourist visa, but you know, there's no offices or anything like that when you first come into Tijuana, there's nothing to kind of show that. I mean, anyways, so what I need to do is I need to get this FMM card because I need this card in order to have my bike get a temporary import so that I can purchase a ticket on the ferry to get me to the other side onto Mexico to Mazatlan. So it's a combo of things that you need to get. First you have to have your tourist visa, then you can get your import permit for the bike, then you can buy your ticket to go uh, on to the other zone. I guess the other zone is not a free zone. So then you have to do that. And I'll need that FMM anyways when I want to leave the country. They'll stamp it out. And then the next country, your bike needs to get deported, I guess. I don't know. You have to import it into the next country and show that you're leaving Mexico. So that's the goal today. So the goal may take me to uh, Cabo San Lucas, the international airport out there. And um, I'm gonna try the airport here first in La Paz because uh, it's closer. But uh, the lady at the pier, I, I wasn't privy to the conversation because I don't understand Spanish fast enough. But they, they basically wanted me to go all the way out to Cabo San Lucas and I'm not sure whether or not that was part of a, a greater discussion. Oh no, he wants to go over there. Okay, well, there's an airport over there. But there's one here, and there was an immigration office here, and I don't know why she did not recommend, hey, go to the immigration office here. Now that it's Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, the immigration office is closed. But at the airport, usually there's someone with a stamp, right? So I'm gonna go to the airport here, check it out, and drive down to the other area just to see. The other area is about two, two and a half hours, so anyways, we're gonna get going. Uh, I just came out for a beautiful morning to walk around. The temperature is around 17, 18 degrees. The sun just came over the horizon, as you can see. And uh, it's very comfortable, so I just decided I'm gonna do my exercise while I'm out walking and enjoying the weather. It's beautiful, honestly. And this is a gorgeous little area. This is a marina just a couple blocks away from uh, where my hotel is. Pretty nice. All right, I'm finally off. <laughs> Took me a little while, but here we are. Uh, we're gonna head to the airport, uh, the local airport here first. It's an international airport. I'm gonna see if I can get that FFM, FMM card. And um, yeah, and then uh, if not, or if so, I will probably head out towards Cabo San Lucas, uh, see what the story is out in that area. Let's see what happens. We're off. Uh, it's a beautiful little bay. Well, topped up with gasoline, and now we head to the Aeroporto, local one here. It's an international airport, but I want to see if I can get my immigration papers done here. Then I'm clear sailing, I can do, you know, whatever. I don't have to blitz it to get to the other place, make sure that it's open, do whatever run around one needs to do. I'm sure there's always something. Well, this is at the airport at La Paz. And this is the migration office door. Of course, it's behind security, so uh, someone else is going in to help me. 
see if I can get access. So we're trying to see if I can get access to the immigration office and get these papers done. Of course, you know, normally when you land, you're behind security, so that's just how it goes. Now maybe the other airport, maybe there's a separate office outside, but this one, this one's behind, so someone has gone in to see if they will let me come in and, and be able to get some clearance done, get the paperwork done, hopefully. Well, the gentleman that was just behind me, he's the immigration officer, and he says, no, can't do it at the airport, because they the system will find out that it was somebody that didn't come in by air. So you have to go to an immigration office, maybe the one downtown here, or maybe the one at the in Cabo San Lucas. Or I have to fly to Tijuana, go get my importation documents done there, and then maybe fly back here. That sounds crazy, because what if someone loses their FMM while they're out in the water doing their shit, right? Come on, they're not gonna make you fly all the way back, but let's, let's hope. Anyways, I'm gonna go into town and see about the immigration office here. Uh, on the internet, it said it was closed, but he says they're open from nine to one. So I'm gonna get the hell going. Trials and tribulations, man. Trials and tribulations. Now we're on our way back to La Paz, the immigration office in town. Uh, the gentleman says it should be open from nine until one o'clock. The internet says that it's closed, but the internet's not always right, and the immigration officer is not always right. So let's find out who's right, the internet or the immigration officer. I think it's like a 10 or 15 minute drive, which is almost back to where I was, but it's just burning away time, which is just kind of what you expect. But it's worth it because he thinks I should fly back to Tijuana and go to the border, get my FMM papers, and then, I don't know, man, then fly back and pick up my bike. That sounds very, um, that doesn't sound like a good plan to me. <laughs> if I do that, I might as well just go home. Of course, finding these places is not always easy, but it says it's right here. That's not it. Here we go. Immigration. How do we go about parking ourselves without getting a ticket? Park in front of these guys. Oh, don't park in the blue zone. The guy told me it's so expensive. I don't know about you guys, but this immigration office, it looks closed. So the internet was right. And the customs guy was not right. Things we learned, the internet was good this time. Okay, so the deal is, the security guard told me that it is not open until Monday at nine o'clock. So I guess I'm still gonna try to go out to the airport at the other place and see if they will do it. Why not? It's either that or I just pack up, sit here in a hotel and hope that these guys will do it and they might not. Let's give it a go, I guess. So, towards Cabo we go. This is uh, on the way to Cabo, San Lucas from La Paz. It is a pretty boring highway. Just so far straight with no views and some power lines on both sides. But maybe it gets better. Hope so. Yay, some curves.
looked at the roadside. I've got some dehydrated mangoes and another treat to see what that's like. I'll show you everything. Lots of treats. Konazuka. Interessante. Very nice. It's nice roadside. Very nice people. I had dried mangoes. Fantastic. So here we are. We're at Terminal 2. It's the international uh, terminal here in Cabo San Lucas. Uh, let's go find that. Let's go find that immigration office and see what happens. Best of luck to me. Well, for a change, the office was easy to find. <laughs> That's the plus. He says there's absolutely no way to get it done anywhere except at the border crossings. So I have to physically go back to Tijuana. That's it. I either go and fly there in person, then find the office in Tijuana, and then take a flight back, or I get on the bike and I drive back to Tijuana, and then figure out what I want to do after that. Yep, this is going to take some planning. I'll be back to you in a bit when I figure it out. So the way I see it, here are my choices. I can fly from Cabo San Lucas to Tijuana, do the run around and come back to Cabo San Lucas. Or I can drive my bike back to La Paz, which it costs less to stay overnight and so forth and all your bags and everything. Fly to Tijuana, fly back, and I'm at the port that I need to go to when I'm ready to go. Of course, I could drive the motorbike up to Tijuana. We're talking three to four days. And then since I would have done the complete Baja at that point, maybe I go down a little more to the east on the mainland and do that run going all the way down as shown on the map. That's what I got to try to figure out what I want to do. But for now, what I need to do is get a hotel room for here in Cabo San Lucas. Lots of bars, Cabo Land Pharmacy, Senior Frogs, Showgirl, I'll see. See if I've got a room yet or not. Airbnb was not confirmed. Then I'm gonna head towards my hotel, which is on the outskirts of town. So I can either opt to stay on the bike and go for another take the drive all the way back to La Paz today but my back is kind of sore so I'm gonna stay here for one night oh. it's not my thing the the crowded street thing I, I don't mind the buzz and everything it's kind of interesting but I don't want to be I don't want to stay down here because I think it'll just be noisy if if there is ever really a crowd you know like it'll just be the clubs and boom and their music and yeah not my scene. That's an interesting little little tourist town. Not so little, but still, it's a tourist town nonetheless. I'm on the wrong road, so I need to get back over there. So this sidewalk looks perfect, except for that cable hanging down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, I just got to work around that and then the traffic and then I'm good to go. Well, I drove past this entrance at least three times with no signage. It's a real bugger to find, I'll tell you that. But I'm finally at the resort. Okay. Okay, need your 
Beautiful bed, kitchenette area. Very nice. Washroom is. It's a washroom. It's a sink. It's a step up from yesterday. Just a touch. Oh, we'll see. Hot water is hot water. So I heard Cabo San Lucas was a party place. So I thought, oh, I'll go out the outside edge of town and then there will be quiet. Golf course, nothing but open space, nice and quiet. But no. Don't get me wrong. I like Pink Floyd. But I sure hope it doesn't go all night. I really wanted to have a relaxing place. You know? I thought I'd give you a bit of a, a walkabout. On the right is the golf course. I don't know what hole it is. And this is a, I guess a promenade or a walkway between each one of these buildings. That's a gym, swim pool. Water slide for the kids. Sit up by the bar and drink while you sit in the water. Lounge area. This is Cabo Summit. Go golfing. Well, here we go. So, what a day, right? Uh, we start in La Paz and I went to the airport to see if I can get my FMM, which is your tourist visa. Uh, they tell me, no, you can't do that at our airport, uh, but you can go check out the immigration office. And I said, well, the internet says it's closed. He says, no, no, it's open. So I drive back into town. That's another 20 minutes in. And uh, it's closed. Internet's right. And so then uh, I decide, well, you know, I haven't been out to Cabo San Luke. Let's go check out that airport as recommended by the, uh, the lady at the, at the port in La Paz. And so I get all the way out here. It's a nice drive. Uh, I get to the airport, it's very nice, I don't have an issue, and find the office, which is super easy to find, and the guy says, nope, this happens all the time. You have to go back to your port of entry, so I have to go back all the way to Tijuana. Either I can fly there, or I can drive there, and that is what I'm trying to contemplate whether I want to do or not or which way I'm gonna do it, because one way or another, <laughs> one way or another, I gotta go up there, because you, you have to have that in order to exit the country. It's like having a visa, you know? Anyways, that was it. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Click the bell so you get notified when new shows come out. Subscribe, that way, you know, it's easier to find for you. Share it with some friends. It'll be nice to have a lot of people watching. Leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. And the call to ride will continue. We'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.